found a book on the ship. A real one. Pages and bindings. It talks about old things. It talks about a family. It talks about a man. This family it lived apart from all the other people. This man made a living doing undesirable things. He was an executioner. People in town, they didn't want to lay eyes upon this family. Once a noble profession, a hand of God himself, over time they became reviled. But they continued their work. One day, the streets emptied upon hearing rumors of a great dark celebration. The family wore a black tabard upon their chests to warn the people of their coming. Curtains were drawn, offerings left on doorsteps. They passed through the town like these extraordinary beings, magical, untouchable. The face of the building was kilted in woven black roses. A boisterous celebration could be heard within. The man looked upon his family and said, Behold, others of our kind, our brethren, our recognition, By one, they were taken by the masked figures, pleasured individually, whatever their hearts desired. As the night passed through to the morning, a toast was called to celebrate the first light of day. Only it wasn't the morning light, it was the gasp of an unbidden fire. It poured inside in a fluid of bellowing rage town had come to kill these people. And it says that as they met their end inside that cacophony, the beings had sung and cheered. They remained merry as the townspeople gazed upon them, drunk with the dealing of death. Now behold me to it.